for a ride. Music, an intricate language of emotions told through soft, lonely melodies and beautiful sonatas transcending all barriers of language, age, and culture. It often speaks directly to our hearts in a manner we don't always understand, but our emotions do. Music can recall a happy moment in our life and fill us with joy, or one of melancholy leading us to tears. This unique ability of music paired with the art of filmmaking has created powerful new mediums of storytelling that lead to innovative and profound experiences on the big screen. Today, we journey back in time to see how it all began in the history of music in film. Before the 1930s, when the first talking films were produced, talkies as they came to be called, all films were completely silent with no dialogue or sound effects. The addition of music in films is speculated to have been for several reasons, but primarily it was to add depth to what the audience members were watching. Some films had full orchestras or pianists who were given books with ideas for the music to play, but this was mostly just a starting point, leading to the musicians mostly improvising to help convey the mood or events of the scene. So, when Chaplin's character fell, they'd accompany that event with the appropriate music. The first official film to have a score written specifically for it was The Birth of a Nation in 1915. D.W. Griffith not only directed the film, but also composed the music. This was a small step toward the soundtracks that accompany movies today. During the 1930s, with talking pictures becoming progressively more common, music once again became vital to the theater experience. At first, the music mostly adhered to the traditions of old, using compiled classic music primarily from the 19th century. This soon gave way to the advent of original scores, and in 1933, Max Steiner wrote the first completely original score for King Kong. At first, composers continued to focus on their music, reinforcing the events on screen, but toward the end of the decade, some composers began to experiment with how they could support the film's plot and its characters. Doubly sure you do not fail. Bring back her heart in this. The next three decades saw more advancement as composers continued to refine their craft and new forms of music broke into the film industry. Bernard Herrmann was an influential composer in the 1940s who broke many barriers and created new traditions that enhanced the viewing experience of film. He worked closely with legendary directors such as Orson Welles and Alfred Hitchcock, scoring many of their biggest films, including Citizen Kane and Psycho. His final film soundtrack, and the last work he completed, was his somber score for Taxi Driver, directed by Martin Scorsese. He is famously known for his use of ostinato, short repeating patterns which give his music a unique ability to portray character traits not obvious from other elements in the film. Herman subscribed to the belief that the best film music should be able to stand on its own legs when detached from the film from which it was originally written. Ah, you take a stick. In the 50s and 60s, jazz found a new home in the mainstream of film genres. While it had been used for musicals and animated films prior, this helped to contemporize films and also offer a low-cost production as fewer musicians were required to compose. In 1977, John Williams scored Star Wars. This revived the classical scoring technique used by the likes of Max Steiner and Bernard Herrmann. Williams created a full score for the entire franchise, with memorable themes and motifs, such as Luke's theme.
synthesized sound made its way into films in the 80s and 90s, making it possible to score an entire film with only one performer. Film scoring underwent another evolution and adapted to the new technologies. Today, original soundtracks are more prevalent and powerful than ever, thanks to these pioneers and the technological advances over the decades. Music is used to form an emotional connection to the audience and convey the subtext of each moment. Composers can now empower directors to new heights, as their vision can be supported by a masterfully scored soundtrack. Composers such as Hans Zimmer, Howard Shore, Ramin Jawadi. Rupert Gregson Williams, Max Richter, and Bear McCreary are as famous and sought after as directors, winning Academy Awards, Emmys, and Grammys for their work. It was always meant to be, music and film. Together they've created for us a lifetime of enrapturing stories and experiences. As far back as mankind goes, there remains two things unchanged by time. The power of story and the emotion of music.